I wasn't planning to do a response to the Globebusters video, but I've had a lot of questions about it, so I thought I'd just do a uh, quick response covering the two main points. First one is, they have a graph that shows the further you move along the Earth, the greater the feet per minute rate of descent is required. Now that is just total nonsense because there's no feet per minute rate of descent required at all. We are trying to maintain a constant altitude above the ground, so there's no descent required. The aeroplane is not moving across the Earth like that. Okay, That's not what is occurring. What they have done is they've measured how much drop there is relative to the original starting point along the z-axis and let's just call this line the z-axis okay so yes there is absolutely movement along the original z-axis but it's not being caused by rate of descent at all it's being caused by the forward motion of the aircraft which is progressively angled downwards and you'll see that as we get to the 90 degree point here the forward motion is 100% aligned with the original z-axis that's how we're moving along the z-axis not by descending but by the forward motion of the aircraft progressively aligning with that original z-axis okay so that's the first thing the second thing is they talk about the exponential curve now that really only applies to a stationary observer a person who is just standing here not moving as he looks across the surface of the earth it drops away exponentially okay that's relevant to a stationary observer it's not relevant to an aircraft that is constantly moving its position okay because the aircraft is moving at a steady speed across a curved surface that is basically of a fixed diameter and so the angular change is just constant every 111 kilometers requires one degree of attitude change and it's a smooth change throughout that entire distance okay it's not just 100 kilometers and then down 111 kilometers and then down it's a smooth adjustment of attitude the whole way around so what's happening is we have linear motion think of a car driving around a perfect circle the road is a perfect circle and the car is driving at a steady 60 miles per hour there's no exponential tightening of that curve is there you don't have to progressively increase the steering wheel to drive around a fixed diameter road at a steady speed you just move the steering wheel to one position and hold it there and the turn will be linear and that's exactly what we're getting moving across the earth so there's no rate of descent required and there's no exponential factor in the movement of the aircraft at all it's quite simple to understand guys I don't know why you got yourself so confused over it